Hey, welcome to Scarborough. I'm Aaron Scarborough. How was that? How's that? How's that for an intro? I'm not monotone anymore. And I can make eye contact. Mm -mm -mm. I've got the confidence of Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian's my hero, by the way. I, um... I love, I'm a guy who appreciates brands. I love brands. I love what Kim Kardashian has done uh, for feminism. Uh, she's she's a hero. Um, and she's kind of the best at being an American uh, in the history of Americans. Uh, Kim Kardashian, as you know, uh, was born to a humble millionaire dynasty and she turned it into basically a billionaire dynasty um which is the most american story ever written um welcome back uh thank you for tuning back into this show it's not a podcast it's a show i've been told uh by our producer tyler from the guild um yeah uh, we know we we did a, a pilot episode. We know uh, what the show is now. We have it all figured out. And uh, Tyler said uh, very gracefully, by the way, I might add, that I need to just stick to the point. Um, so b bad news for all the people out there who want me to wander aimlessly uh, through these episodes. Uh I wanted to talk today a little bit about something that I am passionate about. Uh, and I get you, you would think that it would get less and less over the years. Uh, but my love for Gandalf the Grey um, only continues to grow in my old age. Uh, I like um, this is fun. Tyler is putting up a Star Wars 140 piece jigsaw puzzle so that I have something to look at because I, I have trouble with eye contact, whether it's in the camera or in real life. I don't do eye contact. I don't like it. Um, so I'm supposed to look at the camera. All right. <sighs> um, <clears throat> Gandalf the gray. Why do we like him? You know, uh, and I, this is something that I, I, I feel like, People don't think about why they like things enough. Maybe because they all like people have jobs, responsibilities, children. They pay their bills, stuff like that. I don't do any of that. So I think about things like why is it I have time? I have the time to think about why is it that I love Gandalf the Grey? And I think that I, I, I mean. I've been accused many times of being a narcissist, um, and yeah, you're on to me. Uh, I, I'm definitely into myself, but I don't really think it's possible to be the best artist that you can be unless you are— It. I mean, you don't have to be into yourself. You can hate yourself, and I think most narcissists, me, myself included, also hate ourselves— um, but we like people, we like characters that we see ourselves in. And I have always, um, maybe unnaturally, imposed uh, things that I like, and these are th both qualities and flaws uh, about myself that I like with Gandalf the Grey. And it's like chicken or the egg. D did I base my life on Gandalf? Is Gandalf my jesus-like figure uh because he kind of is if you know if you have time to uh think about it gandalf is uh what do we know about him he, gandalf is a wanderer he doesn't seem to really have a residence um which is a a quality that i i do have a residence i pay for rent on venmo though um uh but I, you know, another character like I, I share this with Kramer as well. Um, not his politics, I'll tell you that. Um, but I, but Kramer is also kind of a mysterious. No one really knows how he gets his money, where his food comes from. He's kind of a mooch. Um, 
he, uh, he, Kramer and Gandalf and me, we all seem to, you know, we gravitate towards uh, um, people uh, that are a little out of the ordinary. Um, hobbits are kind of a lesser known race in Middle Earth. Gandalf loves hobbits for some reason, and his wizard friends think he's weird for it. Um, you know, uh, Kramer has friends that are uh, little people, uh, you know, Hobbit-like even. He's friend, you know, Kramer at various times during the show uh, it has little, I think you remember the episode where he has little Cubans sleeping uh, at his house or whatever. Um, Kramer gravitates towards people. He doesn't know why he's attracted to them, but he just is. I'm this way with... Um, well, I guess non-binary baristas. Those are my hobbits. I like them. And I, I think things that Gandalf thinks, you know, Gandalf says at one point, uh, my dear Frodo, uh, hobbits really are amazing creatures. They can, you can learn all there is to know about them uh, uh, in a month. And after a hundred years, they can still surprise you. That's how I feel about uh, baristas, honestly. Um, I like that Gandalf is not. Uh, here's here's the thing. I realize that people like Gandalf. He's a likable character overall. He's good, but he's kind of a flake, uh, and that's also something that I see in myself. I mean, well, my friendship. I want to be worth something. But when shit goes down, I might not be there for you. Um, that's just who I am. I get myself into predicaments constantly, like Gandalf. Um, I, uh, you know, uh, I might not show up on time. Um, and I think that's that's also that might continue into the the. Uh, Kramer comparison as well. But Kramer's another guy who I've emulated my behavior and my movements and stuff. Like, he creeps into my thoughts constantly. I love Kramer. Um, you know, it's it's too bad that uh, Seinfeld turned out to be such a uh, whatever, a fucking dork. Um, a Zionist dork, as it turns out. Uh <clears throat> So there's a good thing that I like. Um, you know, we, we're we keeping on theme with these are things that I like, things that I don't like. Um, I, uh, I tell you what I'm not into. Uh, I don't like patriotism. Um, there's something that is just inherently... Uh, I don't know if it's because I think that a lot of people in my parents' generation, they have this view of the United States. They they still have like the fairy tale lore about uh, the good uh, president, the reluctant hero, George Washington, James Madison, you know, um, the founding fathers, Teddy Roosevelt. Um, they no matter what. Uh, documentaries or or uh, graphs or or, or just uh, uh, undeniable histories you show these people. They have this this need, like everything that they know, uh, which is that in their mind, if you work hard and you you fucking put, you know, have a little determination and a little rugged individualism, that by God you're gonna own property and. Uh, you know, you'll you'll die peacefully in your 80s uh, with your kids, you know, um, you know, who also went to college and, and everything went great. Uh, that's what's going to happen if you just that's how America's set up. They still believe that despite all the fucking facts. Um, they're patriotic in that sense. Uh and I hate that. There's something about there's something mean in me that I I think that they have the wrong perception, first of all, of how things went down in their lifetimes. They also have uh, boomers have a fucking selective memory, uh, especially when it comes to 
fucking wars. Um, a lot of them don't remember. They, in their mind, they realize now that the Iraq War was bad, that it was a mistake. They, on some level, they don't have any idea the death toll, or or uh, or, and they don't think about the fact that we're still in Iraq or anything like that. Um, but they have a selective memory on the role that they had to play. Um, because that generation, uh, when, when 9-11 happened, that generation became the most sheepish fucking just dipshit, um, uh, gullible, uh, I, I mean, warmongering fucking racist, uh, rabble of fucking people, that uh, that we've seen in modern history, and they they forget that they were okay with the fucking Patriot Act, uh, they were okay with um, you know a, a huge increase in military uh, spending, they were okay with the fucking um, uh, you know harassing of Muslim Americans at the airport. Uh, I don't know. I just I. Um, <clears throat> I wish that uh, there was a way to speak to those people because they, I, it really, if you bring this stuff up, their eyes glaze over, um, and I, I don't know what happens to their brain or what the fucking CIA did to that generation of people to make them so fucking stupid. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of my thing about patriotism. That bleeds over into other areas of my life. And I, you know, I, uh, these are just my opinions. I know that I don't speak for the rest of you, but, um, it, it, uh, it, it kind of, uh, bleeds into, um, like why I can't enjoy the Avengers, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like it is kind of appropriate that the Marvel Avengers bullshit got bought out by Disney because I feel like to, free of irony, enjoy a fucking Captain America movie now, you have to either literally or spiritually be a Disney adult uh, deep down inside. You still believe in... uh, you know, you still believe in magic on on some level. You still believe in Santa Claus. Uh, if you if you think that Captain America is a good guy, um, that's why I fucking hate those Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I know people love those things, but god damn, what a lame! Like you, when you watch those movies, you can tell that he's one of those guys that believes in the American dream. He believes in the myth of. Uh, these fucking high-minded, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, cops. Um, I mean, uh, uh, fucking, uh, if I were to make a Batman movie, which they would never let me make a Batman movie, but if I were to, um, I would be ashamed if I didn't make Commissioner Gordon a terrible guy. Um, and I would make Bruce Wayne a terrible guy as well. Uh uh, and I realize this has been done through fucking Watchmen and all these other things, the boys, whatever. Um, but that's really the only perspective that I can see uh, enjoying a Batman movie in uh, is that uh, fucking Bruce Wayne's a dickhead and um, the American dream's not real. And, uh, yeah, he's just a fucking selfish, uh, ho- uh, egomaniac billionaire who thinks that... Um, you know, beating the shit out of, uh, and I've heard other comedians do this this bit basically much better than I have. But ugh, what are you doing, man? If you're still watching Batman that way, grow up. That's not how it works. Um, anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna sign off. I respect your time, even if you don't. Um, and uh, yeah, tune in to the next episode. It, it, it it'll be something. Sorry about the eye contact. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And check out one of these other videos. We'll see you next time.